There's the points table at the moment, and what a points table. The top three, the battle well and truly on blocker as the Bears come out the home side. A couple of changes to the outfit. Sears in the fullback position. Brett Dallas and Willie McLean, Chris Caruana and Nigel Roy. Greg Florimo and Jason Taylor, the captain. Billy Moore, the forward pack. David Fairley, Gary Larson. Steve Trindle, Mark Soden and Josh Dewey. Yes, and I would imagine that uh, the North Sydney Bears with seven backing up the bench. Very important today for the Bears. I'm sure a lot of their forwards will get tired, although they are very good in the fitness department. And you can tell by the moves. Manly come out now to North Sydney Oval. Craig Hancock for fullback, and Denny Moore and John Hopper Whitey the wings. Craig Ennis and Andrew Hunter in the centres. The hards of Tuvian Field and the best forward pack in the game. Yeah, there's Daniel Gartner too. He's only been back a couple of weeks and a good game today. Might see him in that Australian side selected tomorrow. Should be a great contest, this one. Danny Moore also, who participated in the opening State of Origin match before injury intervened, and Jason Taylor, whose kicking game today will be all important for the home side here. Craig Hancock, the fullback, who stood in and done the great job in the absence of Matthew Reach, who went to Auckland. Steve Menzies, who had three blinders in the State of Origin series. And your referee today, David Manson. Taylor is the man who will get proceedings underway. The two top teams in the Optus Cup do battle now. Deep kick, Danny Moore takes it in his own in goal and gets 15 metres out from the line. Tuvi at dummy half. The runners come. Mark Carroll backing up after a brutal Origin game on Wednesday night. Yes, it certainly was, and it was in the wet too, so Manly have to use their interchange too, and they already have used it. There's David Gillespie taking the ball forward, and he replaces Tierney to start this match for the Sea Eagles. Veteran prop forward plays it back. Nick Kosef looking for a little bit of space, but the defensive line comes out and gets him, drags him to the ground. 35 out from Manly's line. Now Mark Carroll goes forward. But the Bears were up at him and forcing the turnover. A little bit of fisticuffs there between Jeff Tuvey and Steve Trindle. Yeah, there was a good front on hit there. Josh Stewart involved against his bigger opponent in Mark Carroll. The turnover, that's right for the North Sydney side. Here's Fairley up over the 30. David Fairley charges up on the right hand side. Jason Taylor, Billy Moore back on the inside. They like that play. Now Taylor wants the ball on the left-hand side. He has Florimo outside him. Taylor takes on the defensive line himself and runs into Mark Carroll. Florimo, cut out ball. Chris Caruana, Caruana back from Matt Sears. And I think Sears was tackled without the ball. Yes, and fair enough too. Good refereeing there. And again, you see the North Sydney sides going at that line. Here's a cut out ball there. There you see one of the players held out, held back. Just tackle before he's got the football from Mark Carroll and Taylor. And is it any wonder that he'll have the shot? Only 20 metres out, about 30 or 40 yards to the left of the upright. So this is in right in kicking range for young Jason Taylor. Taylor, who is without a doubt the best kicker in the Optus Cup. He's landed 52 from 68 so far this season at an average of 76%. Craig Field doing plenty of talk. Yeah, it's an imperative in this sort of weather that you complete your set of six coming out of your own end. That's the most important thing in the game. And we saw the mistake from Manly early. Mark Carroll it was who knocked on and North Sydney straight on the attack and they get the penalty. Jason Taylor lines this one up. Eight metres in from the sideline. 21 metres out. This would be a great boost for the Bears after just three minutes of play. And as the crowd waited in anticipation there, Mario Fennick, the breeze seemed to pop up and knock the ball from the mound. Yeah, it's surprising, uh, Terry. There's a good breeze behind the North Sydney side here. You can see the flags on top of the goalposts there. Pretty good breeze for North Sydney. We've got a reasonable crowd in as well, considering the wet conditions. The ground uh, surprises me. It's in better nick than I thought. So we're in for a pretty good contest. Ken Taylor give the Bears a two-point lead. Jason Taylor marches in, 
strikes it. It's wide of the left-hand side of the upright. He's forced the ball, dead manly come back to the 20-metre line. And you see the wind take it to the left of the upright, but at least he kicked it dead. It'll be a line dropout from Craig Field to restart play, and Norse will be back on the attack. That's a poor kick there from Field. Field drop out. It was ordinary. Chris Caruana has it on the far side of the field. Wrestled to the ground. Pulled out from the try line. Brett Dallas gives it on to Trindle. Trindle met in solid defence there by Sedaris and also Carroll. David Fairley. Jason Taylor. Billy Moore on the outside gets the pass away to Florimo. Florimo loses his footing. The ground very wet. There's Soden going for one of those darts out of dummy half. It's the first but won't be the last. Now, Josh Stewart charges up into Mark Carroll. Last tackle now for the Bears. Jason Taylor, where is he? They go to Florimo, the blind side. They get back there and they tidy up Manly. But North will get another set of six. Yeah, well read there from Hunter playing out of position today in the centres. He read a beautiful little kick through there from Florimo. Danny Moore turns around to chase the football. Good chase there from Norse. They'll get the repeat set. Plenty of pressure on Manly at the moment. Taylor was the decoy on the right-hand side of the field. He was doing plenty of talk. Florimo went to the left-hand side. And now that's a better dropout by Craig Field. Straight down the throat of Soden. And Soden finds the runner there in Willie McLean. McLean plays it back. Larson goes forward. Soden races into dummy half. Jason Taylor on the right hand side. They're working the blind side. Inside ball for Josh Stewart. Quick play the ball. Decoy runner. A trindle. Florimo looks sharp. Inside ball. Referee Manson has called it back. It must have been close. David Fairley built it. No, no way. That's a forward pass there from Florimo. The idea was right. Fairley coming onto the football. He goes right to the line. Yeah, that's a forward pass. They're lucky they didn't get a penalty against them there for the Liberal. It's forward, no doubt about that, Mario Fennick. Even as a bear, you would agree. Yeah, mate, definitely <laughs> forward pass. I've got to say, they've let Manly off the hook. Uh, North Sydney have had all the field position in this game. Manly breathe a sigh of relief now as they try to advance the football out of their own end. They need to complete a set of six, Manly. They've seen very precious little of the ball. Menzies pops one back for field. Now Jeff Tuvey backing up, pops one high. Referee Manson takes no action. Jeff Tuvey seems to pop a lot of high shots. Mark Carroll. He's blowing up a tree too. Let's see, have a look at it again. He goes to the line. And I would say it's a slap across the face. I wouldn't say that it was a stiff arm. Just a little bit careless. You can see Tuvey heavily take face. He had a nasty head knock with his own teammate. A teammate today, an opposing player on Wednesday night in Neil Teeny. What a nasty gash across the cheek. Now Brett Dallas. Dallas looking for some space. The chase was a good one by Manley. And that's why Manley one of the best teams in the competition. Dallas is a very dangerous player from the right wing. It was a great chase there from Manley, led by Jim Sedaris. So, Trindle, David Fairley. Takes it close to 40 metres out from the try line. Florimo. And picks up the penalty. Josh Stewart it is. Well, that's just a perfect example of running the football on the advantage line. Quick tap. Soden beat the first line of defence, as you can see. They were up well and truly inside the 10. Now Jason Taylor takes the Bears forward. They're just 21 metres out now. Dallas, once again, given space from dummy half. And that's where the Bears have been making the ground. Back for Taylor. Cut Stewart out. Poor pass. Well picked up by Billy Moore. Eventually, Greg Florimo had nowhere to go. Moore, again on the blind side. Well, Nigel Roy, it really was a pass that maybe should not have been thrown. Well, yeah, I don't know about that. It's, it looked like Nigel Roy was in two minds whether to stay out or come on the inside. And in the end, it was a poor attempt to catch the football. Just turning over the football again to Manly. You can't afford to have that field position and keep coming away from that end with no points. 
Mario Fennick, Manly's defence so far has been outstanding. Yeah, it's been great. Uh, the only thing that worries me about North Sydney, they haven't converted the pressure into anything substantial, merely able to, to cope with what North's are throwing at them. A lot of silly mistakes here. Nigel Roy there, a bit more effort's required. North Sydney, though, uh, pretty good start from them. Closer. He'll make some ground. Back now, Tuvi from Dummy Heart. Craig Innes getting involved in the game. Plays it back for Tuvi. The field. Cut out ball. Menzies. Looking to try and link up there with Denny Moore, who came back on the inside. Last tackle for Manly. The options. They go to field, then back for Hancock. Hancock looking for a deep kick. Straight back there for McLean. And he makes the tackle too. Beautiful kick downfield there from Hancock. And he got up there, chased his own kick and cleaned up in the end. Nigel Roy, once again, making ground from dummy half. Through the first line, through the second, through the third. Now it's a foot race. It's a foot race that Craig Field comes from behind. What a tackle. A try saver by Craig Field. That should be a symbiote, isn't it? It is. A professional foul by Craig Field. He did all the hard work and then tossed it down the drain. Fair enough too, man. They were in all sorts of trouble getting back on side. What a great run there from Nigel Roy. Tremendous power shown in the legs. There's the tackle and it was a beautiful copybook tackle there for Field. Refuses to let go and there's no alternative. Sin minute is for Field. And Jason Taylor, the skipper, has raced up. Mark Soden was thinking about the quick tap. But Jason Taylor says, we've had plenty of ball. We've got to convert that into points, Mario Fennick. They're going to get, what a run by Nigel Roy. Well, yeah. Nigel Roy uh, made up for his earlier mistake. He just pushes through a few feeble attempts to tackle. He's a big, powerful man. What's this tackle by Field, though? Cobby Book, I know Field's uh, defence has been questioned. You can't question that. As Blocker said, the referee got no alternative but the banish field of the sim bin. Craig Field would have been caught in two minds there. He had to slow the play, the ball down. At the same time, he had to get off the tackled man, Nigel Roy. And Jason Taylor, well, this should be like shelling peas for Taylor. First points of the game. They go to the Bears, courtesy of Jason Taylor. North Sydney in front by two points to nil. And Bobby Fulton won't be happy with that defence in the middle of the ruck. It was lazy market defence there. There was no chase on the inside in the defence as Nigel Roy scooted out of a couple of tackles. And you'll see North Sydney will do a lot of that today, getting their little men in there or the players with speed to run out from that dummy half area. And Manly have got to wake up in that area. There's Taylor. One from two today. In tough conditions for a goal kicker. The restart by Hunter. McLean was under it, and now Gary Larson. Another player backing up from the origin, but it won't worry him. No, it certainly won't. I mean, as I, as I noticed before, that these guys are supreme athletes, and, and there's none better than, than the likes of Fairley and Larson and more. Here's Billy Moore. That barnstorming run down the blind side by Moore. So the origin back rowers for North Sydney have made a start and a half. Trindle, tackle, right on the halfway line. Fairly is the man who goes to dummy half. Now, Florimo looking for runners. Picks one up on the outside. Pressure on Brett Dallas. Can't get away from Craig Innes, but not too many can. Well, that was a great play there from Innes. He made the tackle on the outside. Here's Taylor, a little chip over the top. Then he made one straight from the ground. And there's Hancock under pressure. Good chase from Fairley. Well cleaned up at the back. Harris involved. John Hopperwati from dummy half is the little kick by Taylor. These are the sort of things I like from North Sydney, the way they mix their play up. Taylor, very astute at whether to chip the ball over the top, and that's good play. That keeps him on us at the back. Here's Carroll. Good hit there by Florimo. Coming up with a big one. Now David Gillespie into the starting 13. Flicks one out the back for Kosev. Well, that was Kosev, well wrapped up. That was smart play there from Larson. They know that David Gillespie goes in and bounces out, gets the offload, and then you've got to clean up around the back. And that's good pressure again from Soden. Greg Dallas takes it right on the sideline. Tries to get away from Tuvi. But Tuvi made the tackle along with Daniel Gardner. 
Now Soden again. Hands Jason Taylor. Heads back to the middle of the ruck. Links up with Florimo. Florimo goes forward. Throws the dummy on the outside and picks up a handy 15 metres. The Bears in front as Neil Tini warms up on the sideline. Billy Moore again. The shuffle. Gets it away. And now being forced back is McLean. Sears. There goes Josh Stewart. Stewart now inside the 20. So out of dummy half and kicks. Good bounce for the Bears. But Hancock passes up what, on the outside. He did beautifully well there, John Hopawati, to run the shadow player. It was a beautiful bounce there. That's the advantage of having a kicker who can do it from dummy half. Everyone stays on side. It's just a good chase. The bounce was right for Norse. Hopawati did well. Hancock cleans up. Norse on fire at the moment. Well, good variation there, Mario Fenny, just kicking that one tackle early. The great advantage that North Sydney have is they've got basically two halfbacks, one being Soden, who's a former halfback anyway, running for dummy half. Much like Manly, you'll see Tuvi in and out of that dummy half position, and certainly it's an advantage. Lions, the goal line dropout. It's a good one into a breeze that favours the Bears at the moment. McLean, tackled right on the halfway line by that man. Cliff Lyons. So Bob Fulton has wasted precious little time involving Cliff Lyons into this game. Well, he knows that Manly have to get on the scoreboard. It's, it's been a lackluster display so far. Some 20 minutes gone already. And there's the offload that will be worrying Manly fairly. Gets the football away. Here's Flamo. He's having a blinder. Billy Moore now. Oh, who bounces out of the tackle of Tuvi. Tuvi met in front on. And the fans here at Bear Park loved it. For Taylor. Taylor. Heads back to the middle. Crunching tackle that time. I think it was Menzies. Dallas. Greg Dallas gets the pass away. Try time for the Bears. Referee Manson gives it. And now they lead by six points to nil over Manly. Oh, tremendous support play there from... I think it was uh, the, the lock forward there, Billy Moore. He was involved in the play the fourth before. That shows the fitness of the man. He was the one who made the break. Florimo's having a blinder. And just watch the way that Billy Moore bounces out of this tackle and keeps going. He does the quick play the ball, and he supports the football on the inside again. Great play from him to get the try for the Bears to add to the account. And here they are. They go back up the blind side again. This is a good run from Taylor. There's Trindle on the outside. The offload to Billy Moore. There's plenty of chain passing here from the North Sydney Bears. The inside ball. That's Dallas. He looked like he was shot out of a gun. And there's the offload to Moore. Sedaris can't do anything to stop that try. Well orchestrated there from the Bears to go back to the blind side. More involved again. Look at this. Speed off the mark. There's the offload. And there's the try to the Bears. Great work by the Bears. And now Jason Taylor to put them up by eight points to nil. But the Bears, they have come ready to play. Taylor. Strikes it. He likes it, Jason Taylor, and so too the crowd. They lead by eight points to nil. Mario Fennick, you're smiling. Yeah, wonderful turn back inside of Dallas there. This is the pass here that's the money ball. Billy Moore, the big Queenslander, right on the spot. That's it's a wonderful try. Taylor, oh, it's like shelling peas, as uh, TK said. Eight points to nil. At least they're starting to capitalise on some possession out of North Sydney. You're right, Mario Fennick, and there's Billy Moore. Well, backing up after another powerhouse display on Wednesday night. Josh Stewart earns a break. Gary Larson is still out there. And we were critical of the Bears early on in the season, Blocker, about turning up to games and making slow starts and, and giving away leads. But certainly the last couple of weeks it's completely the opposite. It certainly hasn't happened today. It's been all the Bears, but I must say that it's eight points to nil at the moment. Manly have not had any possession. That will turn around as the game goes on. Here's more up the centre again, tackled by Lyons. Lyons gets up slowly along with Sedaris. And now Brenton Pomery gets involved. For the Bears, a good barnstorming run by Pomery. To the left, Taylor. Matt Sears. Sears playing in the centres with Willie McLean at fullback. Taylor. For Florimo. Florimo to Billy Moore. 
back for Florimo and turns it over. Oh, Billy Moore is so powerful on the fringe of the ruck. He made the break again. Florimo and Moore, outstanding for the Bears so far. Great pass by Billy Moore, but it's been Manly doing all the tackles. Yeah, 75 tackles for Manly. That's a little bit over double. That'll take up some juice. Here's Sedaris, and it will level out. Manly get the ball. They are an attacking machine. I'm a little bit worried about the 10 metres for both sides at the moment. They're in front of the referee by a couple of metres every time. You'll have to address that. Lions. Deep. Low. Raking kick. McLean goes across. Stuff picks it up and went awfully close to that sideline. Yeah. <laughs> you have to watch your feet there. Oh, McLean, his first first grade game. Very slippery underfoot. Torrential rain overnight this morning. But really... There's Crippy going for the feed and the loose. It wasn't far off neither, kicking out of his 40. Here's the ball, here's McLean cleaning up. And the Bears on fire at the moment, listen to the crowd. Fairly lines them up, fairly into a bit of space. They're carving them up on the right-hand side at the moment. Now back to Dallas. Dallas to Taylor, Craig Field, getting back involved in the action, Florimo tackle. Flings it out the back. Lions has touched it. And he's pulled it. A knock on against Manly. Yeah, that's fair and then Lions has kicked the ball away here. Referee Manson will speak to him. And not a go from Jason Taylor. I'm sure that his coach, Boodaloo, won't be happy at half time. He threw the speculator over the top. It was just lucky that Lions couldn't handle the football. Now Craig Field back on the field. Jason Taylor to feed the scrum. And Hawks have all the ball. They've been doing all the scoring. Greg Florimo takes a break. A chance now for the Bears. Good run by Matt Sears from Dummy Half. Now Trindle, Trindle goes to within a metre. Push over. He's got over from Dummy Half. Williams has come off the bench and come up with a four-pointer and the Bears are out to a 12 points to nil lead. Well, you can put that down to a little bit of luck for the North Sydney Bears. Jason Taylor throwing the speculator a little bit earlier. Lions knocking on. Look at the power of Williams. Gets down low. There's nothing they can do there. He's a very powerful man, Williams. Trindle took the mark around. Toomey involved in the tackle. Lions a little late. Well, Coach Bob Fulton would be none too happy with that, Mario Fennec. Yeah, when you consider, Terry, that Manly have set the, set the benchmark in defence for the last few years, probably the best defence in the world in any competition at that, that was a soft try, and I can tell you, Bob Fulton won't be happy. Neil Tini getting some treatment for a back injury. As Jason Taylor. A chance to put the Bears 14 points in front after some 20 minutes of play. He ain't singing yet. And who would have guessed? It's not a bad start though, Block, is it? Taylor, the flags go up again. Bears supporters like to see that with Jason Taylor. 14 points to nil after 21 minutes and they're on fire, the Bears, Mario. Yeah, I was surprised by that soft try there. Danny Williams has only just come onto the field. Barge is over, and I tell you what, they count all the same, don't they? If you run 90 metres or 2 metres, still 6 points, 14 nil. They go the Bears. Craig Field, the restart. Straight down for Soden. And it starts all again. But they just need to get hold of that football and hang on to it. Yeah, they certainly do. I mean, they need to be the next scorer, this manly side. <laughs> There's a missed tackle, seven to Manly, none to North Sydney. Perfect exhibition from the Bears. Oh, good hit. Oh, hit over the top. Oh, Danny Seatbelt. Danny Moore is the player. Paul again. The kick inside for Sears. But Craig Hancock is there. The chase with a beauty by Nigel Ward. Well, it certainly was, and that should be a penalty to Manly too. And that should be Nelly. The Sydney defence laying around to the play the ball. 
Very lucky to get away with that there, Nigel Roy. Have a look at this, he just hangs on. Have a look at here. Sadaris. You're not allowed him to play the ball. And a fair enough penalty there to Manly. That's a reliever that they needed. There's Sadaris. And Manly have really paid the price blocker for Craig Field going to the symbol. Down by 14 to nil. <laughs> You're playing an experienced side in North Sydney. They know that they can get the space when you've got the likes of Jason Taylor can read the play so well. It was obvious that they were going to get a try. Joseph, Menzies, Menzies. Eager to get involved in the game. Great field. Tuvi. Tuvi. Across field. The decoy runner was more than Hancock took the ball that just went behind his back. 23 minutes gone. 14 points to nil. Last tackle for men. What can they come up with? Field takes it to the line. The high kick is a shocker. It's gone backwards. Hapawate. Hapawati. Nowhere to go. Flings it back for Menzies. Menzies picks it now. McLean has it. McLean oh, hammered. It. Hammered by Menzies. No, that's got to be a walk to the 20 metre line. He caught that in the in goal area. That's bad referee. Bad touch judging and bad in goal touch judging. I think you're right, Block, because referee Manson had a good look. Well, McLean looked at Manson. He's caught the football in the in goal area. It should have been a walk. Right. Look at the place. Look at this. There's the line. That ball would have landed in the in goal area. Bit of luck. Bit of luck for Manly there, Nuzza. Bit of luck just while I got to there, boys. Neil Tierney's left the field in a blow for Manly. It's a back injury, and he's in a bit of trouble. Upper Whitehead. Upper Whitehead winds up, runs into Dallas. Gets up, lays it back to Craig Field. And now Jim Sedaris. Sedaris. That's a great run and a better pass. What about the pass to Innes? Innes now. Manly on the attack. Turvey. Turvey for Menzies. Menzies sizes up the opposition. Still going, Menzies. Brought to ground, five metres out. And they're aiming at Taylor too. He's having all sorts of problems there with Menzies. They've lost the ball in the tackle. And referee Manson says, you've lost your cold, Steve Menzies. There's a bit of a wrestle going on there. And I would say that that has a hand on it. And there it is. There's the hand. It should have been a penalty to Manly. Could have even held on to it. No doubt Taylor had the hand in there and you can nearly bet 90% of the time when the player loses the ball, there is the opposing player's hand on the ball. Now, Bears, Larry Larson getting ready to come back on along with Greg Florimo. Bears have had a magical start to this game. Oromo was on fire early on. About to come back into the fray. Josh Stewart. Stewart runs over the top of the first line. Back from Soden to Taylor. That's a great kick by Taylor. Or maybe it might be too big. In fact, it's absolutely perfect. Yeah, tremendous kick there from Taylor. That was one of the things we talked about before the game, how important it would be. Jason Taylor, a master at the kicking. Replayed this kick by Taylor. It was perfect from Taylor. Hancock back into his own in goal, and Hopawati now plays it. Mark Carroll. Just have a look at Manley there. Very slow to support the ball runners. Mark Carroll took that ball up one out. Here's Gartner now. A second Gartner. Fulton goes to dummy half. Sloppy play the ball. Now Field with a big kick of his own. McLean. You'll learn from that too, McLean. Races back. You've got to get back and try and attack the football on the full. That was kicked over his head from Field. Good vision there from Craig Field. Now Nigel Ward. Gallop out of dummy half. He must stay in the field of play. He's been taken over the sideline, and referee Manson's given a penalty. Well, I thought Nigel Roy was always in danger there of going out. He certainly was. It was an ordinary run there from Nigel Roy. But is this the second tackle? 
I, I would say it was done in the same motion. Yeah, it's a 50-50 call. Probably when you have a look at it on replay, Mario, it probably was a second tackle, that movement to actually drag him over the line. Yeah, Terry, I probably would have uh, disagreed with the referee on that occasion. Manly certainly frustrated. They just don't seem to have that spark today, Manly. Still plenty of time to go, but I can't remember Manly with the football in the North Sydney end yet. I had to say, we haven't been able to see the spark because they haven't had the ball. Now, Lorimo again. Williams has come up with a mistake. Sadar has knocked it on, but it'll be Manly's speed, so Manly should get the ball back anyway. Yeah, they look very tired, Manly. You just have a look at their body language, walking the scrum. A lot of players with their hands on their hip. Whereas the North Sydney side have got a little bit of spring in their step, and you can have a look at the scoreboard, 14 points to nil. That's the reason why. The back row combination there of Daniel Gartner and Kosa. I just want to see Phil run the football. You've got your wish. Off he went, then he passed it. Sloppy play by Manley. Well, the Premiers don't normally do that on the first tackle. Now it's the North Sydney defence that are really frustrating Manley in their era. A lot of their players are playing the best that they can. Here's Gartner now. Gartner winds up. He missed four games earlier this season with injury. Fulton. Long pass for Sidaris. Now working as a back rower. And starting to try and give Manly that momentum they need to go forward. That's a bad pass. That's a shocking pass. And they've been bustled in the air, in the air as Mario. If you listen to the North Sydney defence, they're really putting pressure on Manly. Well, they've got a 14 0 lead block, and the reason they have is because of great defence like that, putting pressure on players like Kosef. I agree with you, Brock. There's no talk out there. The body language doesn't look good either for mine. Although you can never write Manly off. If you can recall earlier in the year, they, they uh, eat the Roosters, led them by 18, and, and Manly came home. So <laughs> they won, right they won in a trot. And there's Craig Field, who, after having 10 minutes in the sin bin, gets another break now. And here's the big workers for the Bears, David Fairley having a, a mighty game. He might be included in the test side. 12 tackles, 6 hit up so far. He's on fire. Here's Pomery. Pomery pops it back. Williams, red into the ground. 28 metres out. The Bears launching another attack. Taylor. Florimo. Get up again. The veteran. Josh Stewart winds up. It's been a great season for Josh Stewart. Now, from dummy half, they've been doing some damage. Dallas, a nothing kick. Manly come up with it. I feel like that side. player might have been offside. The ball come off quick Lions. A little luck there for David Gillespie. Here's Hopawati. And that's a great front on tackle from the Bears. Look at them. They're swarming. Brenton Pomery, the man involved in that front on hit. Manly looking for a piggyback. Locker, I think you're right. The 10 metres looks a little bit skinny. Yeah, I, I thought it's been good for both sides. It's not only Manly that are struggling with it. Kosef. Well, just have a look at the Manly play the ball, how slow it is compared to North Sydney. You watch the way that they put their players on the ground and watch how long it takes. That's been the difference so far in this game. North are hungry for the win. Last tackle. Big kick by Cliff Lyons. Now Willie McLean once again has to sure, turn around. I'm sure Peter Louie will be telling his fullback to get a little bit deeper in the second half. It's the second time he's had to turn around to chase after it. Nigel Roy. Roy. What a game he's had. He's an extra forward, isn't he? Big lump of a lad from the right wing. Reba. And dummy half finds Brett Dallas. Dallas. So both the wingers for North. You often see it in the wet conditions. They come in and do a lot of the work, help out the forwards. Reaper again at dummy. Back from Trimble. Larson, well, Larson just steamrolls Sadaris. He went back like shot from a gun. Now, Taylor runs it, kicks for Dallas. Hancock goes across, and Hancock has it just to go over the sideline. And I'm sure that Jason Taylor with that kick down field, he's had a bit of success there, would have been trying to keep the ball in play. Hancock just a little bit slow to get across there. In the end, he lets the ball roll in the touch. He knows he's got the speed men on the, on the right wing in Dallas, and it's all North Sydney in the first half. Here's Kossef having a rest. Craig Field back on now. Mario Fennick has been on and off. 
Actually, I was watching Craig Field go sit on the bench. He had the walkie-talkie in his ear, and I don't doubt it was Coach Bob Fulton trying to lay down some instructions. Manly gone away from their game plan a bit. We see Manly making mistakes, and their defence is a bit ordinary too. So Bob Fulton might have had a few words to Craig Field. Field again from Menzies. Look at Menzies go. And now Hopalwate. Hopalwate got around the first one. Has support on the inside. Josh Stewart, what a magnificent effort from the big front rower. He makes the cover tackle on hands off. How'd he get there, Blocker? Stewart chasing down Hopalwate and Hancock. Now he swapped him here. He's missed. He's lost the ball. Craig Hancock. And Hancock. Oh. Hey, uh, Josh Stewart. A to Manly there. And Stewart lashing out with the boot. He gave him credit for the cover defence, but he's got to get a brick for this. Uh, that's the play of the day. Not that. That's not. The chase was. And Craig Hancock with every right to blow up there, Mario. Might hear a bit more of that, boys. Uh, certainly, it looked like a, a kicking motion, although it was a Craig knee, Hancock. but certainly. We might hear a little bit more oh, about I thought it that. was a half by G up, as if I caught you. <laughs> I trust you to say that, Bob. Jim Craig Hancock got a shock when he looked up and saw Josh Stewart. And now, here go the Bears. As good as a pass. In fact, it went forward. Manly are getting on a little bit of a roll now. That's North Sydney panicking again. A loose football there in the end from Nigel Roy. Team points to nil. The Bears in front. They need to score next, Manly. This is a big six minutes coming up. It's everything we would have thought that to be. First place, third. That's a Manly win field from the scrum base. An important set of six for Manly now. Lions. Craig Ennis. Ennis inside ball for Hopalwate. Who did extremely well to hang on to that. Now, Hancock. It's good yards from dummy half for Hancock. They're good at one on one tackle from Fairley, too. Now, Tuvi. They try and work the blind. Fulton goes up, lays it back for Tuvi. Tuvi to field. Now Lions. And when you mention Lions, you mention the back rowers. Yeah, well read there from Caruana. Tremendous reader of defence. Great tackle there on Gartner. Now Tuvi. Fulton. Three on two on the left-hand side. Can they make it work? Yes, they can. Manly score, courtesy of John Hopawati, three on two, and Manly get their first try of the game. Oh, what a great bit of play there from Craig Innes. The catch and pass situation, Hopawati on the steamer. I don't know what uh, Jim Sedaris was doing out there, but lucky he was out there. As you said, three on two. Here's the long ball, the defence just sliding off. Watch this ball from Innes. This is special. Draws in Dallas, beautiful pass. Hopawati scores. Mention a big set of six for Manly. They really had to score here. Funk held the pass up well. Then Innes. And then Hopawati did the rest. Again, you can put it down to the mistake that they made coming out of trouble. It's imperative that you do complete your set of six coming out. And again, Tuvi, the long pass. Fulton again involved. He made Billy Moore come at him. And Sedaris, great ball there. Look at that one. Dallas sucked in. Hopawati scores without a hand laid on him. Craig Field from wide out at the legs. <laughs> wide of the right hand side, and John Hopawati picks up his sixth try of the season. Mario Fennick, they needed to score. Yeah, like a great side that they are, Manly. They manufactured something there. They needed to score, as you said, Terry. And there was nothing really doing there, but uh, some great work by Sedaris. And that pass by Innes there for Hopawate to score. Manly breathe a bit of a sigh of relief. At least they're on the board now, 14 points to four. They haven't had any possession at North Sydney's end. Sedaris since he's moved. Fulton's come on into the hooking position and Sedaris operating as the back row. He's given them a bit of go forward by them. Now, this is Gartner. Manly really did miss Gartner when he was out. Yeah, tremendous player, Gartner. He's been outstanding in this game so far. There's a good hit over the top on Mark Carroll. But let's not forget, Manly will have the breeze in the second half. 2B. 2B. Knock on by Jeff Tuvey. He was trying to get the arms free. And I think it was David Fairley. Yeah, block. great tackle there from David Fairley. He's having a blinder. 
Tuvi. Well, that's the mistake you don't need. But two and a half minutes to go before the halftime. Taylor. Taylor, inside runner. Fairly. Wrestled to the ground there by Gartner and Menzies. Taylor. Swings him to the left. Taylor! Straight through the step. He got hammered by oh, Hancock. Hancock. What a tackle. Fulton missed it. Now, she's out of dummy yard. Matt Shears, how quick is he? Quick play the ball needed. Barely. Inside ball now. McLean. Too slow from dummy half and fairly there. He hesitated. Last tackle. Last tackle. Taylor. He'll kick for the outside man. It's a lot true. Nigel Roy is up there. Hunter. Blue high took it well. Oh, good play from the youngster. Good player, young Hunter. Move him into the centres now. Manly trying to get on with the play. Here's Innes. Well, they've survived this. It was an important one to survive, Mario. Well, as I tell you that, they can ill afford a try just before half time. They've built a bit of momentum with that try to Hopawade. But mistakes, Manly are just making too many mistakes. And we see Carroll try to advance the football. Advance it, he does. Again, it's on 15 metres, Mark Carroll. Fulton finds field. Lions, the back rowers line up outside him. Danny Moore into the centres with Hunter on the wing. Hunter, hurting that tackle, is he? There's a bear down in back play also. Hunter, play. Matt Sears, he got his head in the wrong position on the tackle on Danny Moore. He's struggling to get back. And now, Sears gets to his feet and gets back. Lions, field, the little kick, but Nigel Roy was there. That was ordinary football. Back Brett Dallas. Well, plenty of time to root it too, Field. It just rolled straight into Dallas's hands. Dallas plays it back for Reba. There's Nigel Roy. Roy picks up 10 metres from Dummy House. Florimo picked up, driven to the ground by Tuvi. And Florimo can afford to smile. <laughs> I wouldn't be laughing. Beautiful tackle there. Here's Josh Stewart, he's been good. It's been a great battle between himself and Mark Carroll makes the tackle. Stewart, plays it back. Taylor, Taylor, he'll run and take the tackle, will he? But not too easy. So Jason Taylor, the skipper, doesn't like the attention he got from Mark Carroll. They'll be applauded off this North Sydney side. Great exhibition of football in the first half. Be far superior over Manly. Manly will get a little bit more football with the win in the second half. This is going to be a great game of football. The Bears, they lead by 14 points to four. North Sydney, they lead the Premiers. We'll take a short break from Bear Park. And all they've got to do now is consolidate, get that same sort of effort in defence as they had in the first half. And they'll be very hard to beat. Manly will be... Really trying to score the four, first points in this second half. As Mario said, they've got a big breeze behind them. This game is a long way from over. Two tries to one the Bears have scored. Gary Larson backing up after the origin and despite the inclement weather here in Sydney. Quite a good crowd has turned out here at Bear Park. Very wet and underfoot. As the Bears cheer girls. Tell you what, but I've enjoyed the speed of the game considering the the conditions it looks as you said there's plenty of water on the ground but the handling skills and, and the movement of the football has been outstanding and belies the game of first versus third well, just for a moment jeff tuvey is ducked back down in the tunnel I just wonder if he's going to be starting this second half the manly skipper we've got uh, 12 out there at the moment and tuvey coming back out so the skipper get out there for manly is the optus girls leave the park and manly get together in a huddle no doubt they would have the tongue lashing at half time by coach bob fulton this is when the game is won and lost the second 40 minutes now and manly with a lot of work to do we saw them trail the steelers and also the gold coast before pulling off draws in both those games and they will no doubt come back block. Well, there's no, re <laughs> there's no reason why they won't. I mean, they're, they're the Premier's a bad cut suffered from Jeff Toothy on Wednesday night in the State of Origin. Gutsy performance from him. David Manson. In the middle, 
And Field, the high kick. Soden gives it to Larson, and Larson charges straight up. He never deviates. 14 to 4. The Bears in front, David Fairley. Mark Carroll came over the top. Joseph down below. And there goes Soden again. But this time, Manly a lot more alert. And Soden running from dummy half. Billy Moore. Hammond in the tackle. Right, Menzies and Tuvi over the top. Josh Stewart charges up into Jimmy Sedaris. Last tackle for the Bears. Soden continues the tactic of kicking out of dummy half and Soden puts on a good chase by himself. And now Hancock forced across field. Yeah, they made it pretty easy there for the Norse defenders. Hancock running across field, cleaned up in the end by Carolina. So he goes to dummy half. Gartner. Ooh, just manages to grab hold of the ball. He lost it momentarily. He twisted his knee in that tackle too. And that could be the bad right knee, Mario Fennick Gartner limping badly in back play. Yeah, it happened right in front of me, Terry. I've got to say, uh, they can ill afford to lose Gartner as we see Tuvi make one of his customary runs. I've got to... Yeah, there he is. Yeah, I've got to say, the, the breeze, you believe it or not, is not as strong as it was in the first half, although it is backing this Manly side up as we see Field kick downtown. It's crucial for Manly to score first in this second half. What that is brings the ball back. I'd just like to see Manly when they get to the ball, when they've got the football, go to the fringe a little bit more, spread the football, make that Norse defence spread out a little bit more. David Hall. The Bears throwing it wide early in the tackle count. Florimo, first receiver, back on the inside. Edging up towards the halfway line. Trindle, met by his opposite number in Carroll. There goes Soden again. Tuvi, well aware of Soden. Last tackle for the Bears. Back for Taylor. Taylor runs it to the advantage line. Carolina, he'll take the tackle on Hopawahi. Pops it out for Dallas. Ricocheted off the back of Menzies. Stewart. Florimo, over the head. Try time, try time for the Bears. They've scored first in the second half. And now lead by 18 points to four. Barely was there, Florimo. Well, there was absolutely no pressure on Hancock at the back there. I thought this was a pretty ordinary kick here from Florimo. They need to get the ball up and just went straight down his throat. No pressure whatsoever. A flat drop there and he didn't clean up. Fairly comes through, scoops her up. There's the try right next to the left upright. Well, plenty of skills involved here. Firstly, they kept the ball alive. The skill of Florimo with the kick overhead. Hancock juggled it, dropped it. Fairly kept it on the toe. Then did extremely well for a big man to get down to the ball, pick it up cleanly, and then dive across. Josh Stewart threw it out the back. Sears had the quick hands. And what about Florimo? He'll say it was a set move. And now Fairley dives across. Picks up four points. Jason Taylor. Adds the extras. 20 points to four. Mario Fennick, the Bears, in control. Yeah, luck's a fortune in rugby league, isn't it, Terry? I've got to say, Hancock seemed to have that uh, covered. Ball goes loose. David Fairley, what an unsung hero he is. Didn't get too much of a go in direct football. A great player. They've got a stranglehold on this game now, the Bears. 20 points to four. Surely Manly can't come back from here. Gary Larson with a smile on his face, shaking his head still. I can't believe the kick of Florimo. Well, it just shows the importance of even chasing the football when you think nothing's on. I mean, if you would have had a look at that kick there from Florimo, you thought it was a G-up, but good chase there from Fairley. Cleaned up in the end. Here he is again. The Florimo is yet to score a, so, a try so far this season. He's been involved in plenty. Billy Moore up into the line. And Denny Moore was over the top. A 
They work away on the short side. Great run by Florimo. It's his 13th season with North Sydney. His one and only club. He loves it dearly, and he would love to do the victory lap on grand final day with the Bears. Taylor runs around Truby. Taylor holds it up. Parawana back for Dallas. Dallas, Dallas, Dallas goes all the way. In fact, he trots across. He puts on the aeroplane, Brett Dallas, and the Bears go berserk at Bear Park. Well, I'll tell you what, Jason Taylor showed an enormous amount of pace here to scoot around. Jeff Tooby, it was. Manly just didn't cover up on the inside. Once Dallas got the football, that was it. Here it is. Have a look at the speed. Have a look at Manly backing off in the fence. The ball goes on the outside. Caruana there inside, and that's shut the gate. Sedaris can't foot it. No one else can. Great try there to Dallas. What a finisher he is. They run the football on the last. Jason Taylor, unbelievable speed shown from him. It's Caruana, beautiful play. That sucked in two players. Hopawati misses a tackle. Sedaris comes across. Hancock can't foot it. And he'll be loving this one. I think Brett Dallas has celebrated five metres before the line here by sticking his tongue out at the cover defence coming across. It might be a Kiwi. He could be. Doing a little bit of the harker as he goes across. But Brett Dallas, such a controlled runner of the ball, bruises across. Gives it half an aeroplane. And now Jason Taylor. Oh, he kicks it. 26 points to four. Mario Fennick, not even you, would have thought of that scoreline. Well, Sydney, well and truly, they're starting to destroy this manly side now. Now it'll test their medal. All it was was Innes didn't, didn't read the play properly. Went across, back inside of Dallas. And give him some space, Dallas. No one's going to stop him. I'll tell you what, this manly side, well, are, they, are, they, are they the great side that we've seen before? Well, I said before the game started, if the Bears really are to be true Premiership contenders, at home today they would really have to test Manly. They have done more than that. 26 to 4. And I guess if it was any other side apart from Manly, he would say they've got no hope of coming back. But it is now crunch time for the Sea Eagles. Soden, once again, out of dummy half. Picks up eight metres. Quick play the ball. Oh, big front on hit there by Carroll. But Josh Stewart just kept going. That's a great collision there. And I said in the first half, what a great co contest it is against these two today. Last tackle, Soden skips under the 2 tackle. Another high one for Hancock. Well, it was nightmare stuff for Hancock. He took it in the field of playing. Then gained 10 metres. He didn't look real confident about this one. Well taken in the end from Hancock. Manly battling to get out of their 20 metre line. Field. Mark Carroll. 12 2, the missed tackles. Manly, far too many. Tuvi from dummy half. Here's Gillespie. Gillespie now, Innes. Craig Innes has seen very little of the ball. Jimmy Sedaris. Big collusion this time with David Fairley. Last tackle, Greg Field. Well, can Fairley on this performance work his way into the 17-man Australian side? I think he's been outstanding today, Fairley. Well, the kick is too big for Manly. And North will march back to the 20-metre line. With a tap restart, Soden wants the ball, gets it. It's amazing how tired you get on the scoreboard when you're behind by so much. 22 points they're behind at the moment. Manly looking tired. Billy Moore into the line. Carroll, another tackle. Here we are, Billy. A little bit upright there, son. Smashed over the top by Carroll. Odom. Finds David Fairley. Again, Florimo. Florimo, Florimo carves them up. Greg Florimo, can he get try number one for the year? Yes, he can. Greg Florimo, it is a bad picnic against Manly. Who would have thought? The good thing about that is, doesn't he? He didn't 
trying to celebrate the try before he got there. Once he got over that line, he threw the arm up. I'm a little bit sorry for Jeff Tuvia, who tries so hard. He missed the tackle. Florimo, have a look at Menzies come across here. Look at the speed. Florimo, too fast. There's Menzies. Here's Florimo celebrating. Well, he has waited 14 weeks of the Optus Cup to get across the try line, Greg Florimo. And he does it this time. He's turned 30, but still extremely quick. Beats the cover of Menzies. They were never going to get him. Look at him. They love him here in Bear Territory. His first try of the year. But have a look at the career. 63 tries to Florimo. Taylor moves in. In his 250th game for the Bears, Greg Florimo. Jason Taylor. Well, it's a cover. 32 to 4, Mario Fennick. The alarm bells are starting to ring now. Oh, Manly, well and mate, truly. Well they're falling off the wall. Have a look at this last try. Nice width in the play, too. This pass here from Fairley. Watch Florimo hit that ball like a good player should. Nice footwork in the slippery conditions. And go, Flo. He's got the foot down. He's just about, just about there. Puts the hand up. And he's very happy about that play. Good on you, mate. 32 to 4. The Bears are on fire. Mario, who's that excited? He only ran over <laughs> the dead ball line, Flo. Well, this was a big test for the Bears today. Just as many players backing up. Origin number three. And now, Taylor into a bit of space for David Hall. Hall comes back on the inside. And still, Manly have seen no ball in the second half. Well, how good are they at getting out of their own end? Soden's been outstanding. David Fairley with his one-pass runners on the fringe of the ruck. They've got out of their end with ease today. Here's Taylor again, the little second man play for Josh Stewart, who's played so well too. Tuvi comes up with the tackle. But Tuvi has tried his heart out for Manly. Charging up into the line. Good pack dominated Manly. It's amazing, the Bears. amazing what a lead can do. They're all firing up. Larson with the kick. Gary Larson. The kick. The chase. Well, everything falling into place for the Bears. Is there nothing Gary Larson can't do? Oh, he's a skillful player, isn't he? He's been a, a good player for a long time. Beautifully weighted kick here. Hopperwadi had to turn around and chase. Cleaned up in the end by Hancock. They'll get the football back. Manly stalling tactics at the moment. They don't want to get on with it. Wakefield looking for a solution. Not too sure if there's an easy one. Now Soden just takes North, the pace off it there for Matt Sears. You also want to hope it rains come semi final time. Geez, they're an unbelievable <laughs> football side in the wet in the conditions today, being great. The Vanderhum of the Optus Cup. North Sydney Bears. One of Melbourne Cup in a flat line. 32 to 4 at the moment. Now Soden. Taylor. Taylor. The short pass to Larson. Larson back to Sears. They're playing with the Eagles. Playing with confidence, that's what they're doing. Tuvi trying to hang all over him. Now the frustration comes out. Tuvi involved in a punch up with Matt Sears. It's Caruana, it is. Well, Caruana. He ran around, pushed Tuvi off. Tuvi objected to it. Well, I think and then she was on. Well, Caruana was looking for the quick play, the ball. Tuvi lying all over the tackled player. He's re that eye again, too. 